All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaq Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother and not by Ayash, by the GMS Indianapolis camp. Come on another ep episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with pray that you're, pray that the Lord don't put a uh, spirit on you to be presumptuous like ITR. You know what I'm saying? Pray that you don't end up presumptuous like ITR, man. You know what I'm saying? That word presumptuous means, let me get it right quick. That word presumptuous, it means uh, too bold or forward. It says uh, uh, presuming. And overstepping of proper bounds, what is the proper bounds? And now who is my understanding of the word? The Lord's doctrine. It says, a taking of something for granted, because he took the word for granted. See what I'm saying? Uh, Nazaliah took the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh for granted. Like the Lord owe him something. See what I'm saying? It says, uh, the thing presume, a reason for presuming. See what I'm saying? When you jump down to the source, presumption, Means a, a, a guess, hypothesis, an assumption, impudence, which means what? Arrogancy, audacity, effrontery, see rudeness. See what I'm saying? So, so it's really pride, pride and arrogancy, because as you see, on them is what? Nothing but pride and arrogancy, man. Every time you see this dude on the camera, it's nothing but pride and arrogancy, thinking that the Lord has gave him some great revelation, but he didn't. He see what the, see what the problem is. These guys are getting their uh, their wisdom and knowledge from Satan. They're not getting it from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh like I tell you in Psalms twelve, his word is pure and true. See what I'm saying? So what he's teaching is lies. So he's getting his doctrine from Satan. Satan making him feel like he's this great prophet with this with this great uh, uh, evangelical breakdown, but it's not. See what I'm saying? This dude is getting worse and worse, man. Like the scriptures say, evil men and seducers share wax, what? Worse and worse. And that's him, man. Now he's saying that Yahweh Shai didn't really feed the multitude with uh with two fish and five loaves of bread. That he fed them with spiritual food. How in the world is that? Because everybody was there, didn't receive the parables and breakdown. Remember the disciples asked, asked why do you speak in parables? Because why? It wasn't meant for everybody to get it, man. So everybody, all the multitude that was there, all of them never received the message. Only a few of them received the message. But those that was there just received the food, man. See what I'm saying? That was a miracle to feed the multitude with two fish and five loaves of bread, man. How do, so if he fed them with spiritual food, that means what? It was only two Bibles, two scrolls in the basket, two scrolls and five pens. Man, please, you can get out of here with that nonsense, man. Yahweh Shai fed the multitude with two fish and five loaves of bread. That was a miracle, man. But you you guys are denying the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Therefore, you will be destroyed. See what I'm saying? Matter of fact, this is Sirach, chapter uh, 37, verse, uh, I'm going to start at verse 15. And above all this, pray to the Most High, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, that he will direct thy way in truth. That's what you guys don't do. Nazariah, Mac 10, y'all don't pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to guide your way in this truth. You pray to Satan. That's why you guys are led astray on every wind of doctrine, man. It says, uh, let reason go before every enterprise and counsel before every action. You guys never took counsel on, on your actions, man. You just did what you want to do. It said, verse 17, here's the point. The countenance, meaning your appearance, the countenance is a sign of changing of the heart, meaning the mind. See, your countenance is showing pride all over you. <coughs> you showed it time and time again. See what I'm saying? I've literally watched your downward spiral, your downward fall, just like you, Mac-10. I used to talk to you on the phone. I've watched your downward fall, you know what I'm saying, ever since I used to talk to you on the phone, bro. You know what I'm saying? You used to question your leadership ability. You know what I'm saying? You used to question whether you was fit to be a leader or not. And it goes to show you wasn't. Because why? You teaching false doctrine. You're, both of y'all are filled with pride, man. 
point blank period. Mac 10, you wouldn't move to a brother house because he stayed in a certain neighborhood that was kind of rough and you was afraid people were going to steal your Jordan uh, shoe collection. That's pride, man. See what I'm saying? You put materialistic things before you have about Shimei Abishai, man. See what I'm saying? That's pride, man. Nazariah, you pride. See what I'm saying? You don't teach the correct doctrine of the word, man. You teach what you want to teach. You teach what you feel feels good in your mind. And then you got your, your goof troop that follow along. You break some, ooh, yeah, that sounds good. Let's go out there and teach that. As long as it's coming up against the apostles, which really you don't understand how deep the rabbit hole go. You're not, you're not bucking up against the apostles. You're bucking up against Yahweh Bashim al That's a serious offense. You blaspheming his words, so guess what? You're going to die. You're going to die, Mac 10 going to die, and your goof troop going to die, man. This is Psalms chapter 19, verses uh, 13. It says, uh, Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Meaning what? Arrogancy, proud for sins, man. What's part of your pride for sin? Breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. You're teaching lies and false doctrine. Because you're going off what? Your own feelings and emotions. You're not sticking to the doctrine that was taught you by the way of, of the apostles through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh It says, keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. What else is presumptuous sin? Breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, teaching false doctrine, taking what was taught and mangling it to fit your own agenda. That's a presumptuous uh, sin, man. That's a prideful sin. Saying that Yahweh shot didn't really feed the multitude with two fish and five, load of, five loaves of bread. He talked in the word. Yeah, he talked in the word, but at the same time, he fed them. Because why? They was following him for so long, and they got hunger and a thirst. They got hungry, so he fed them. Because why? They was steady following him to get what? Deny the wisdom and understanding of his word, man. If that's the case, they'd have been full off the word. He wouldn't have had to perform no miracle of two fish and five loaves of bread, man. If that was the case, but no, that was the Lord showing his power through his son, you have a shot by what? Feeding the multitude with two fish and five loaves of bread, man. You niggas ain't spiritual, man. Y'all carnal. It says, keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Don't let pride and arrogancy have dominion over me. Because why? Pride and arrogancy will get you killed, man. That's when you start breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, leaning to your own understanding. That's why Proverbs said, lean not to lean not to thy own understanding, man. Because why? That's when pride and arrogancy step in when you think your way is right. Well, like the scriptures say, there is a way that seemeth right unto, unto men, but the end is destruction. The way it seems right unto you is what? Breaking down the scriptures wrong. Leading as many as you can to be slaughtered by Esau, the so-called white man, man. It's bad enough he got these false churches out here teaching false doctrine. But then you come along, supposed to know that you're an Israelite, supposed to know the name of your how about Shem Shai and the doctrine of how about Shem Shai. And you going out here murdering people, man. You murdering your own people. By what? Teaching them false doctrine. Having them led astray to get slaughtered by Esau, man. It says, keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright. How, what's going to make you upright? Deny the wisdom and understanding of this word. The correct doctrine is going to make you upright. Stand upon your feet. As their breath enter into you, which is what? The wisdom. The not the wisdom and understanding of this Bible, man. That's what make you upright. It says, uh, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. What is the great transgression? Blasphemy. See what I'm saying? Speaking, speaking against the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in his word, man. Denying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in his word, man. You're denying the word of the Heavenly Father. That's a great transgression. That's a great sin, man. What is transgression? Breaking the laws. See what I'm saying? So you guys, man, you're, you're arrogant and you're proud and the Lord is going to destroy you, man. See what I'm saying? So you brothers out there, Pray that you don't end up like ITR, proud and presumptuous, meaning what? Arrogant and proud. See what I'm saying? 
Don't be like them, man. Pray to you, how about Shimei Abishai, that he would direct your path, man, and keep you on the straight and narrow. You know what I'm saying? Don't let Satan come to your mind like, hey, hey, that's a wrong breakdown. You need to follow this break. Look this word up. See this word? Right? This is what it really means. Then you be like, ooh, yeah, the apostles are going off. Ooh, that do sound good. That's the real breakdown right here. Now, then you become presumptuous, meaning what? Arrogant and proud like ITR and, and MAC-10. See what I'm saying? The good Hamites. <laughs> That's who they are, the bad Hamites. The bad Hamites and, uh, and, and Nazaliah, ITR. You know what I'm saying? Idiots truly retarded. Or idiots that are retarded, ITR. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So with that, hey, uh, Bad Baba, uh, Kwame Ashala, Shalom.